In the annals of art crime, the 1972 Montreal Museum of Fine Arts robbery stands as a remarkable and audacious event that captured the attention of the world. This meticulously planned heist unfolded on a cold September night and left the museum and the art world in shock. The stolen artworks included masterpieces by renowned artists, and the daring nature of the crime has since etched its into the history books of art theft. On September 4, 1972, a group of professional thieves orchestrated a sophisticated robbery that targeted the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts in Canada. The thieves infiltrated the museum during the evening hours, taking advantage of the Labor Day holiday and the reduced security presence. Under the cover of darkness, they entered the museum, expertly disabling alarm systems and overcoming the limited security measures in place at the time. The stolen artworks included pieces by some of the most celebrated artists in history, including Vincent van Gogh, Rembrandt, and Vermeer. Among the stolen treasures were Landscape with Cottages by Rembrandt, Poppy Flowers by van Gogh, and The Astronomer by Vermeer. These works represented a significant portion of the museum's collection and held immeasurable cultural and financial value. The thieves exhibited a high level of knowledge about the museum's layout and the value of artworks they were targeting. They moved with precision, swiftly removing the paintings from their frames and bypassing security measures that had been considered robust at the time. Their efficiency suggested that this was not a crime of opportunity, but a meticulously planned operation that had been executed with skill and coordination. After successfully making off with their ill-gotten gains, the thieves vanished into the night, leaving behind a stunned museum staff and a city in shock. The magnitude of the theft sent shockwaves through the art world, as these masterpieces were not only priceless in terms of their artistic value, but were also an integral part of the cultural heritage of Canada. The aftermath of the robbery was marked by international intrigue, as law enforcement agencies and art institutions worldwide embarked on a quest to recover the stolen artworks. The artworks, which had seemingly vanished into thin air, sparked numerous theories and speculations about their whereabouts. It was a global mystery that captivated the imagination of art enthusiasts and investigators alike. Years turned into decades, and the stolen masterpieces remained missing, leaving a void in both the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts and the global art community. The robbery highlighted the vulnerability of even the most prestigious museums and the importance of continuous efforts to enhance security and protection measures for priceless cultural artifacts. In 2011, nearly four decades after the heist, there was a surprising development. One of the stolen paintings, Landscape with Cottages, by Rembrandt, was discovered in France. The painting had been listed on the Interpol database, and a routine check during a border crossing led to its discovery. While this recovery was a triumph, the fate of the other stolen artworks remains a mystery, reminding us of the enduring allure and complexity of art theft cases. The 1972 Montreal Museum of Fine Arts robbery remains an iconic event in the history of art crime, showcasing the audacity and meticulous planning that can underlie such heists. It serves as a reminder that the value of art extends beyond monetary considerations, encompassing cultural heritage, identity, and the profound impact of creativity on humanity.